Um, I'm Corey, I guess. Uh, we won the 3v3. I'm from Stockton, Sacramento area. And I uh, had a good time with my teammates today. And uh, yeah, I guess we won. What deck were you playing? I was playing Cyber's Eldritch. How were your matchups? Um, it was good. Yeah, a lot of fun. A lot of, played a lot of PK today. But Any hard matchups, easy matchups? Um, yeah, David B. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to David, he's cool. <laughs> Nice. All right, let's check it out. All right, so Cybers Engine. So you know, it's it's 2022. We have a ton of generic cards. Everything is an engine, and it's a 60 card pile. So Cybers Engine here, three Gadget, two Dotscaper, three Firewall Guardian. He's the best one because he makes dark. Then we play the Adventure Package because it's also 2022, and this engine is way too good. Three Right, three Temple, three One of Scriffin Rider. Fate, you know, more generic engine here, DPE engine, more engine here, we're playing Souls to Illusion, I play one of this because I want an extra copy here, and this is cool because I play Eldritch, so it's a spell, he's golden boy food, um, then Eldritch engine now, two golden lord, two Eldland, I wanted to fit a third, I just couldn't figure out what to cut, so the third one got cut, um, and then we have three Sanguine, Two, only two, Hakero, three, Conquistador. He's just my favorite one. He's just generically better, but there's a lot of matchups where Hakero gets real good too. So for that, now all the hand traps going second stuff. Um, I have two, uh, three Ogre. Let's see, three Nib. Where's my third Nib? Third Nib. Two Token Collector in the main. I didn't really like this, kind of underwhelming. One because I play cross out, one because I play cross out, three Ash, two Bell, really good for um, prank kids and also hits uh, Chantress, one Foolish, or not Foolish, one Lancia, and then one Foolish and cross out for all the stuff. And I have Scythe here to do the good classic combo that runs this format. Um, side deck, because when I go first, I just want this to resolve. <laughs> um, yeah, so you know, I get, I get like, Ash Bay. Basically, they just become combo pieces where if they stop me mid combo, I just set this as does Scythe. Or if I actually open full combo plus Ignition, you can actually have a, a combo where you double Scythe them so it plays around Droplet. Um, you eventually have this full combo, you actually hit this, and then when this sets, this activates Engraved, then you DPE the other one you had you know, that gets set off this, and then basically, if they drop it, it doesn't matter because the other one comes out the graveyard and still puts them under. So. And also because I play 60, I want extra like side deck cards for back row. So this is essentially MST too, if you don't know what this does. So it's really cool too because it's like my sixth copy of Cos, you know, sixth copy of Cosmic. So that's the reason why I play this. And then to, um, you need to have an artifact and deck to resolve it. So I also set the Lancius and then the Drolls. So because I'm 60 cards, you kind of have to redundantly side. Um, extra deck, you know, all-star hero guy, cybers combo stuff. I play two Verdi, um, just because sometimes the second one comes up because I like to play a little slower game. Because I'm Eldritch, so I, the second one does come up. Um, the Artemis for the Enchantress, the Halt combo to kill, uh, two Charmers here, both are really good. The Lingaribo for the cyber stuff, or if I play a trap deck, sometimes it plays through Infirm, and then that. Spider. Spider. Alright man, big congrats on winning today's event. Any shout outs? Thank you, yeah. Uh, shout outs to the homies, Adrian, Dale, David. Um, shout out to Area 51 and David behind the camera for hosting these tournaments all the time. Thanks, and all my friends that came out from the Bay Area. Alright man, congrats bro, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, thank you.